I would say a whirlwind for sure. Um, no, it was an unbelievable experience for me. Um, I didn't expect it, I'll be honest, but I think that I worked really, really hard um, and I was willing to learn off some of the best players in the league um, that we had at Reading. Um, and I think just keeping humble and working hard and gave me the opportunity. And I was thankful that obviously the coaches and Kel was, had the belief in me to be able to play. Um, but no, like I said, I want to kick on now from ne for next season um, and just keep learning and tr working hard and hopefully I can improve. It, like, it was an incredible experience. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't hit it that sweetly, um, but a goal's a goal. Um, <laughs> but no, it, it, was, it was a proud moment for me and my family, obviously. Um, and obviously it was on TV as well, which was even nicer. So a lot more people could have watched it back home. So. No, it was an amazing experience and words can't really describe that feeling. Uh, I've been at the club since I was seven. Um, I think the coaches are absolutely brilliant here. Um, I've worked with a lot of them over the years and obviously coming into the first team environment um, has been the same. The quality of coaches are unbelievable. Um, and likewise, I think ev every team that I've been in has valued you as a person and a player. Um, the players that I play with um, are unbelievable people and unbelievable players. And I think that is what is so good about Reading is it's just a good togetherness. And I think that we can definitely next year play really well together because I think Kel's brought in some brilliant players um, to fit that kind of philosophy. Kel is a brilliant person and like I said, a brilliant a brilliant coach. Um, she's very honest with me and I really appreciate that. Always willing to push me. Um, in, in trying to get better but at the end of the day she's just a person that I can always rely on and I think she can rely on me as well. Um, we have a brilliant relationship off the pitch and on the pitch like I'm always willing to work hard for her regardless of what position or what I'm being asked to do so I think there's always that respect between us and we have a very good relationship and I think like I said Kel's a brilliant person and a brilliant coach and I'm sure she'll be very successful um, in her future as well. I think for us it's just improving on our consistency, um, obviously last year we were very inconsistent, we would perform against you know, the big six or the bigger teams last year, but then we failed to be the consistent against the lower teams in the league, um, so I think it's just about being more consistent um, in our performances and yeah, just working together a bit more and I think results will come from that. They're all brilliant. Um, they're brilliant people um, on the pitch. They're brilliant as well. Like I have the pleasure of working with Tash Dawi quite closely. Obviously, a very experienced striker um, in the league and an international level. Um, so I'm not embarrassed to admit. Like I like learning off her because I think she's very good technically. Um, but it's not just her. Like every single player that's come in, Jem, Faye. I hope I don't miss many, but they've been brilliant as well. Um, they've come in, settled into the group. Like Chloe is just hilarious. So it, it's just a, a very good vibe at the moment in our team. And we have a really good close knit togetherness. And I, like I said, I hope it shows on the pitch when we come to start the season. Yeah, really excited. Obviously it's gonna be a very tough game for us. It always has been. Um, it's always been a physical game, but it's one that it's a challenge that we like to take. Um, we like to think that we're very, we were very good last year against United, um, but obviously they've invested quite heavily in their squad and have some invested in some in some brilliant footballers. Um, but no, I think we're we're preparing well, um, and we have the strength in our squad to definitely um, push them for a good result. No, it, it's huge. It's a huge thing for us. Um, like we did some Sky Media stuff the other day and some of the girls were like, this is this is crazy because we grow up, grew up, sorry, watching like the men do it and we're thinking, oh, this is amazing to be part of. Um, I think it's been a long time coming, to be fair. And I think that I think a lot of women and girls will be hopefully like to participate more in women's sport and women's football. Um, but no, it, it's an amazing thing and obviously playing on TV is always nice because I didn't think I would ever do it. So it's really exciting and to do it on Sky is probably even better. Um, just just get back, like get behind us. Obviously, it's lovely that you come to our games. Um, we really missed you last year. Um, so it'd be great to see you guys again. And I think we definitely did play a lot better when you guys were here. So hopefully the bigger the crowd, the better. And I hope we get uh, give you something to cheer about.